Yo, what's going on, guys? We're going to be playing some full AP Cho'Gath in the top lane. We have Arcane Comet, Manaflow, Transcendent Scorch, Ultimate Hunter, Eyeball with double AP and health. AP Cho'Gath gets through lane phase much better and still gives amazing value in team fights, arguably more than tank Cho'Gath since your Q and W will actually do something. Plus, you'll still be pretty tanky from your R stacks. First item rush against ranged champions, go Rocket Belt, otherwise just go for Rod of Ages. You could Q start or E start. He started with his spin. I don't mind E starting then. While, while his spin's at least on a cooldown. You see how much health he lost? That's how scary Chokath E is. If he's going to waste his ability, we'll just look for the trade. If he didn't use his E, I would have just started Q. Q's much safer to farm on. Mm, you got me to cancel that. All right, we'll trade back. Not bad. It's already lost a lot of health. I'm not really getting many last hits here though, is the thing. Auto into E, got him with that. Into E again. Very nice. He's trying to proxy for some reason. I don't know why he's doing that. Guess he doesn't want to lane anymore. Huh, I've never seen a Garen do that before. That was very strange. He executed. I guess he wasn't happy with how much health he lost. Maybe he thought he was going to get ganked. That was very bizarre. I'm going to drop the Q. Get the E down. Into a W. We are up CS and we didn't have to die. Oh, I guess my wave's pushing into him. I, maybe that was 400 IQ. I don't know. He's not level 3 though, so... This is weird. This is such a weird... Thing that's happening right now. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this is so strange. Got it. Don't want to miss that. Got down my Q. Got with the E. He's dead. Well played, Garen. Rest in piss won't be missed. Garen Top's actually insanely strong right now. If he hits six without dying, he's good to go, but he's got chunked. Absolutely. I'm not going to stay for plate before the five minute mark mid and or top and mid turret on curable. They take it's roughly a third damage that they normally take. So especially if you don't have demolish, there's no point of wasting your time. I'm actually going to go. I wouldn't mind rod rush. Rod feels pretty good as a whole. I'll TP back. You do have various options. I think Leandre's is really good. Rod's really good. Storm surge is really good. Riftmaker is solid. Rocket Belt is solid as well. I think Rod as a whole. Super tanky, well priced item. Since he's melee, I am going to max E first. Otherwise, I'd max Q first in a more challenging matchup if he was ranged or if he was a melee champion that could really threaten an all into the death like an Irelia. Then uh, I just queued for the spacing. I mean, his spin's on a cooldown here. We got off the slow in the queue, so it lands pretty much for free. I think he's dead. I don't know if he has flash, though. Doesn't matter because he's silenced. Nice, 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 nice. We're going to auto R, stack up our R as much as possible. Every stack gives us health. So we're still going to be rather tanky in the sense of an assassin isn't going to be able to one shot us. Tanks aren't going to be able to kill us very fast. But like a shred champion's still going to kill us really, really quick. That's what shredders do. It's five minute mark. I'll stay for the plate. Yeah, Blasting Rod's an interesting item. Rylize is kind of low value for Cho'Gath because your Q's a knock up and a slow, your E's a AoE slow. So uh, I really do think Rod of Ages is your best first item or Rocket Belt. The thing that sucks about Rocket Belt is it doesn't actually give you mana. Just going for the raw E. We're ahead of him right now, so we might as well just trade off when E's up. E's also very, very cheap. Q's cheap, W's somewhat expensive. Boop. Alright, he applies the arcane. It's such a funny uh, interaction. It's one of the tricky things about electrocute is you have to use a lot of mana to apply it generally. Usually an auto EW or a Q, W, E. Three separate hits, but with our arcane, we can apply it with just a single ability. Got with the slow. There's the Q knockup, auto R. Down you go, buddy. 
Boop. Ah, I missed it. I'm not going to stay for the play. I don't have enough mana. I'll go ahead and unmute, but I'll mute my teammates if they start typing. In fact, I'm just going to mute Jinx to get ahead of it. And I'll mute Zed to get ahead of it. <laughs> if people are already like losing pretty hard, I don't need to see what they're typing. It's probably going to make it harder to play. I think we win this game for sure. The enemy scaling looks like crap. The only thing that scales big is the misfortune. I don't think Varus scales that well these days. No lethal tempo on him. After Rod of Aegis, I would like items like Cosmic, Rift Maker, possibly even Leandre's, just depending on what Garen gets. We're going to slow him straight into Q, get the knock up auto, auto eat. I think he had the right idea when he tried to proxy me earlier, because this is just not going his way. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing right now. I, th I assume he's going to suicide into turret, or I don't know. But I mean, he's going to have to do something. One, two, three. Nice. He gets none of those minions. And he gets to respawn. He's a lucky guy. Now, sure, I'm going to miss all of these, but he missed all of these, so it's whatever. I don't think we really need the Q Max. This is cheaper. W is too expensive. Auto W. And I almost had it. Hello, Garrett. Gone with the Q E W. He had his damage reduction on though, so we did basically no damage there. I don't think Shaco would gank me necessarily. I don't have R though, so if he did, it would probably work. <laughs> we'll go ahead and R that, get him with an auto. Alright, I don't know where Shaco's at. His ghost spooked me a little bit though. I don't know why he did that. Oh, he's going for my lane. This guy is such a weirdo. He's playing like Garen, such a freaking weirdo, man. He's on Ghost as well, so I can't chase him. What a weird dude. That type of play styles. That th this type of play style is exactly why I don't think they should penalize you. Like I'm not even getting 300 gold off of him anymore, so me chasing him is kind of bad. And he's playing with Cole too, so is what it is I guess I can't really stop him from doing what he's doing all I can do is keep stacking up my R <sighs> auto E mm, I can get three more free R stacks I have no clue how Zed's losing to Varus that should be an unlosable matchup even if Varus is a challenger smurf that should not be losable. Garen's still probably just sitting there farming my wave. Oh, he finally left. Imagine that. I can TP to Dragon if need be. Oh no, he's still there farming my wave. What a freaking turd bag. There's nothing for me to TP to. Literally. What do I TP to there? There's no wards. While Garen just farms for free, non-stop. That sucks. Ward, please, so I can maybe TP. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And Garen's just taking whatever he wants. No, he's completely being left unmolested. No tier 2 boots. This is bizarre. I've never seen someone get away with so much for no reason. Yes, doesn't make sense. Everyone's just leaving him alone. Slow and a silence and a knock up. Auto ER. Thanks for the stat, Garen. Appreciate you. 
Boop. I do still have TP to get to drag, but we need our support to muster up all of his strength to use any finger or even his tongue to place a ward. It'll be impressive once he does it, but once he does, we will be able to TP on over since we are ahead and get tremendous value. Garen's up in CS now, almost. Can we get a plate here? Got the knock up, just trying to slow him down off the minions. He's doing a lot of damage there. He's not even a full item. I can heal up off these. Yep, there's the heal. Varus gets a double. What is going on this game? I have 100% kill participation. My jungler, 0% kill participation. My mid, 0. Bottom, 0. What is happening? Makes no sense. He's just gonna run away. He's fast enough to, I can't get to him. It's so weird to have, I don't know, it's a strange game. For Garen to be left alone for that long, no one to come to stop him, it's so strange. Cause it's not like anything else was getting done. No dragons. Drop the Q, auto eat. I'll walk him down all on my own while my team's worried about doing nothing. There's the Q knock up, auto eat. Rest in piss, won't be missed. I should get a full 300 gold though, not 120 or whatever the heck I just got. Because then he can be like, hee hee, you're being inefficient. It's like, well, why Why should you dying and me being alive, why should that be inefficient? That's unfortunately the state of League of Legends right now is they can go, tee hee hee, well, technically, what I did was the correct move, even though I'm dead and you're alive. It's like, okay, cool. Right, needs to change that. Absolutely. Until he gets a killer assist, his respawn should get longer and longer and longer and longer based on his death total. Or they need to just give me the full 300 gold from his death. Because he's basically really not that far behind in gold because he's tied CS now. He's maxed out his cult. Ah, here he comes. Do, 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 do. Got him with a slow. I might actually die here. Got him with the knock up. Gotta get to that plant. Boop. Alright, Varus gets the kill, is what it is. Varus is gonna kill Brand. Most likely. Nice, 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 nice. My TP is up. We have a lot of stacks on our R. We're at 8 right now. At this point, I think we just have to commit. We have to commit to more AP, more damage, more movement speed. Storm Surge. Probably an Arabidon, honestly. I'm not going to TP to this. It's so pointless. I'm just pushing the wave. He's going to take this stuff for free. Garen does bonus damage against uh, monsters as well with his spin. I'm going to have to go defend Brand's jungle. <laughs> Eight stacks, 960 health. Leave this right here. Varus is going lethality. That might actually be good for us. They're pretty AD heavy. Garen's almost caught up in CS. He did have the coal. See if I can get it with a Vorpal Spine. That would be perfect. Use the Q. And this is an R. Nope, Zed kill still very cool. 
We do have six grubs at least. We could base race these guys pretty hard. That's obviously the fake one. So I walk into nonsense. Say we just base race. Who cares? They don't want to play the game. Just hit the turret. Auto R. I get the stack. And then we just keep going. Base race. Might as well. Got her with everything. And then I walk on out of there. I got a back though now. We got quite a lot. They probably don't get an inhib. We have our storm surge. They didn't get an inhib, so I don't think it matters too much that we lost two base turrets. We are in such a bad position then there that uh, a trade isn't really bad for us. We just can't have situations where we lose everything. We do need dragon though. I don't want to let them get free soul. Pull all the way out. That dragon auto range is crazy. We need our jungler to come here, believe it or not. There's the knockup, MF flash. I'll walk down this guy. Apparently that's the fake one. And I died. We at least got dragon. I died really fast. Kind of just looked like I stood there and did nothing. A little bit. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Zonis is tempting to buy. It's so expensive to get though. Three and a half item Varus. He's gonna rip Nautilus up. Oh, it's still winnable. I can feel it. We're getting some free coaching from MF and all chat. Very cool. Love getting that free coaching from someone who's two and four and four on the winning team. Very impressive. Garen's way out of position here. Hold on to my R. I try not to use any other ability. I didn't want to get him low for my teammates to kill him before my R could be fully cast. Got him with the silence. He just does so much damage, man. It's kind of confusing how much damage this guy does. He's always pressing forward, so if I throw out a defensive Q, I can actually hit him. He's always willing to just step forward for more autos. It's obviously the fake one. There it goes. I need a recall. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Just pestering me. It's likely to be Shaco boxes over here. I want to reset. Bearing up in 15. I need to get my health back. Shadow Flame isn't worth it. We just need Robin on at this point. When our Q hits, if it can do half of Varus' health, I'll be happy. Nice. Brand gets the kill. Nice spread on to MF. She's dead. That's huge. Garen's at two full items. Slightly more CS, one kill. He's about just as fed as I am. My mark treads are kind of worthless against him. There's the slow silence. Can't quite land the Q because of his speed up. Yeah, this MF really does. This MF's a typing machine. Absolute machine. It's got to stay alive position. I can hit big Qs on their back line. Rod of Aegis is finished. It's really, really good. I got the big one. He has a teammate here. I don't know who it is. Oh, it's Poppy. My teammates are all really, really far away. <sighs> all in base. Mm, that's not good. Got the minions. Try to get the Varus. 
Nautilus is going for Varus. He doesn't have his R though, so it's only so useful. Varus is their whole team. He has 14 kills. He has no R. Maybe I need to build some armor, dead man's or something. I'll flash away from that. I'm dead though. At least no Garen R. It's not going to count for much. So he goes in for Varus and uh, yeah. That could be GG's. Nope. Brand gets Varus. That'll stall the game. Got a fat shutdown on that too. Got Poppy. I think I do have to get Dead Man's just to get away. Just to be able to move around efficiently. Otherwise, Garen kind of just shreds on me. And we're not playing as a 5v5 team. These are just like weird pick type fights. Garen no R. Jink kites it on Fountain. MF's two full items. She's not going to be able to take this. How many R stacks are we? We're at 10. 1200 bonus health. After Dead Man's, we can get Robidon and uh, maybe a Rocket Belt. Just taking that really, really slow. Garen's only level 13. Hmm. Two levels up on him. The main person we're looking to stop is MF if she starts her R or just Varus in general. Other than that, we're not in a real hurry to go into a fight. Oh cool, Zed split pushing when drags up. Nice. I like that. Very hyper useful. Just shake a box right there. It doesn't even let me mark it. Got it with oh it looks like Brand got it actually. Hey, Poppy. Oh, Varus is behind me. This is bad. Got the knock up on these turd bags. Got the R onto her. Garen's getting shredded pretty good by my brand. I kind of need to reset though now that brand's dead. Brand can apply the most consistent damage to them just by pressing his R. Once he's dead, there's no more fight. How much more do we need for dead mans? We're about 800 down. I wish they had Everfrost. They never should have removed that item. So good for characters like Cho'Gath, the turbo CC. My art is 1600 true damage against monsters. It's champs, it's about almost 900. No clue why Varus Q is doing 1000 damage. It's so weird. It must have changed him. Way too much damage. We kind of need red buff at this point for the whole team. Brand can come get it. That would be fine. He just seems like he's never going to get this red buff. Boop. There it is. Still can't afford my dead man's it stinks. We're getting up to a reasonable movement speed. I'm thinking the Merc Treads was a mistake. I honestly don't even know why I went for Merc Treads, to be honest. Because they're full AD. It's like, who was I building it for? I guess I thought it was for the Varus. He was going AP, but he's just building AD anyways. So sure, it helped me against his snare, Poppy, Stun, Garen, Silence, Chaco, Fears, but I'd rather just not lose half my health when Varus hits me with a single arrow. All right, we'll play to them. Brandon gets a nice little pick on to Varus. Should be a kill. All right, not bad. Varus killed me really quick. He did 3,300 damage. Just <laughs> pretty sure a whole health bar. I might, I might actually need Zanias to stall him out when he's got abilities in midair. Q 800, passive 800, his R, what the hell? Why does his R do 700 magic damage when he's full AD? Man. 
The only thing that doesn't do a lot of damage is this Hell of Arrows. What a tough character. He's lost all of his bounty at least. They are nowhere close to Drag Soul. They need to get an ace to end pretty much. We have a bonus 1700 health. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it's doing a whole lot though. I guess the full build Varus at least he's up darn near 6k gold. I need to buy an Oracles. That's got to be the fake one. He's taking way too much damage from my... Ooh, nice. He's taking way too much damage from my attacks to be the real one. Cut down to silence. Q. Auto R. Got the double Q. Flash W. Nice. Okay. Oh, kite away from the Garen a little bit. Get him with the silence. Alright, not bad. We'll take it. Varus didn't get much value that fight. He must be falling off. Sure, we landed one or two knockups on him still. That was pretty solid. A decisive victory in that fight. A reset for drag. Could finally pick up dead mans. Could go for Zonis as well. The only thing that scares me about having Zonis is after I Zonis, Chico's gonna lay a box on my head. That's the worst thing, or him just leaving the R on you and then it blows up after a while. Keeps doing 623. R is a little over a thousand now against champs. Let's get a ward down right here. These Earth Drags make a big difference. They have lots of lethality. Get down to QW. Can't arm over the wall. Can't reach. Lost a lot of health. Couldn't couldn't press R on in time on it, but we at least got at least got the dragon. This is probably warded. Yep, got the Vera shield, but where did my health go? Seriously, man, my health? Or what is going on? Varus is the only one who even hit me. I need to TP. Ooh, nice. Okay. Brand new and stuff. All right. All right. We can work with that. I mean, I'm not typing much anymore. I, I see. She's giving out a lot of coaching before every time she died. She was telling us about. How that was so naughty for us to do that. We have a ward over there. Boop. I don't know why Zed's just walking where I'm walking, but he is for some reason. I'm going to TP on over here. Might be able to end. Slow silence. Couldn't reach him with R. MF's back here. Alright. Oh, I'm dead here, aren't I? Pressed R on Poppy. It's one for one. Never mind. Nautilus died. Not worth. Varus is missing shield. Brand might be able to kill if they walk into him. Drag's not up though, so I can't imagine them cutting right here. Here's just all the damage. It's mixed too, even though we built full AD. That, that is a very strange realization for someone to build full lethality, yet is doing majority magic damage. It's wild. Maybe I do need magic resist, huh? I could go for Abyssal. Prefer not to though. <laughs> I'd rather not. Leaves me in a weird spot. 
I guess Kanic is the answer. Kanic scales a lot off your HP. It gives me a fat magic shield that'll block an ability or two from him. Or just running into a random Shaco box so it doesn't shred my all my HP through its max health damage. We're about to get soul here in a second. Soul's coming up soon. Souls are really good the more armor and magic resist you have. Because the shield interacts with your armor and magic resist and each earth drag gives you more armor and magic resist. There's the knock up. There's the R. Oof. Guess I shouldn't have gone for the R. There it is. I missed my silence on this turd back. Oof. This Varus died. This is when having Warmogs would be nice. And the fight is this freaking disjointed. Got the silence. He seemed to have instantly cleansed it though. Alright, whatever. I'm not getting R stacks. Sterix pop on his part. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I have more range than Shaco realizes I do. Oof. See, MFR does a reasonable amount of damage, also known as less than Varus R for some reason. <laughs> That's never been the case, but eh, she has a little bit less gold spent. Can't finish my Kanic. That one was obviously, like, obviously fake. Oh, well. Well, we're not getting soul. Just clear the waves. Two item AP Shaco just set up a double. Oh man. Secret to beating AP Shaco is you don't chase him and you just hit him from range. And if you think something's a clone, it probably is. Shaco never is gonna put himself in a situation to die because he never has to. Alright, we'll walk her down here. Sick move. Alright, cool. I didn't get an R stack. Nice. We likely still have one inhib. They don't have three waves pouring down our throats. Almost have Kanic. That'll be nice. What are you doing, Garen? Long auto range from Garen there. Pounding with the slows. Missed my Q. Flash R. Goodbye, buddy. The ritual Garen execution. Rest in piss won't be missed. <laughs> I don't know why he went for flea. That's weird. Maybe he thought it would be good against the Cho'Gath matchup. Very strange keystone to see. Garen's almost always conk phase rush. Alright, we got the Kanic. We're chilling and grilling. I'll walk it out of base. I don't see reason to TP until I have to. Garen's dead, but not for much longer. The only person who can seem to kill Varus is uh, Bran for some reason. I think it would be Zed, but it's literally not Zed. Bran a little deep. He's a goner. Jeez, man, this game. Zed at least does something before he dies. Oh, he didn't die either. Cool. Got the knockup. W. R got canceled. Missed my Q. Nautilus waste R. Huh. Got with the QW. Got him with the R. Nice, nice, nice. I die, but I'm okay with it. I think I got an R stack and Varus died. As long as Varus dies, it's a good trade. He's the majority of what their team is. He's clearly their best player and their most fed. He's swapping the Zonis. I think that's a huge mistake. He's not moving fast enough now. Kadic blocks a whopping 1,000 damage. 1,073. That is freaking... Big. It's a big old piece of damage right there. 
because it's also all of its other stats. It's not just a shield. It's also 400 health, 80 magic resist, and a bunch of HP regen. So that 1,000 shield interacts with our total magic resist of 162, which is equivalent to 62% reduced magic damage taken. It's a very big shield. I do still want to get my Robin on. Rabadabadoo. Rabadan Death Cat. Could go for Unending Despair. Wouldn't be bad. Robin will give us a little more kill power. I mean, our Q, W, E, R, it all scales off AP, so it's not like it's a bad style and show by any stretch. R is currently 1100 damage against champs. Q 623, 512. We've been at the same damage threshold for a while. That's not the real Shaco. Yeah, imagine that. But my candy makes it to where it's almost like it never happened. I missed my Q, feels bad. Auto W auto. There's this can oof, got it. That was his uh Sterics pop. Two of them are dead. Ah, uh, I don't know. We should probably just all push down mid here. Baron's also not bad, but I mean two of them dead. I could just tank the turret. Nice. Should be able to just force an end here. They, they realize that. That's why they're going for the minions. Ooh, I should have ran him down. I forgot. He doesn't have boots. Nice. Okay. Okay. Zed dies. Freaking Poppy. He's... Donalus, quit, quit breaking the freaking fake Shakos on us, man. He's obsessed with killing those. Varus dies at least, so it's worth. Mm, I think he's just trying to stall the game. Just a box right there. She goes very, very little damage to us at the moment. I'm just trying to guard the wave. Mechanics almost back up as well. Again with the silence E. Auto. Couldn't even R in time. These guys are all dying way too fast. Oh, I missed it all. That's it though. That's GG's. Ultimately, we did outscale the Garen. Varus seemingly fell off. He had a huge gold lead, so I'm not sure how I'm not sure how good AD Varus actually is. Could have just been the fact that he was 3k, 6k gold up the whole time. Whew, let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were number two on our team, number three in the game. For damage taken, we were most on our team, almost the most in the game. And self-mitigated, we were number three. For runes high value. All in all, AP Cho'Gath, I think, is better than Tank Cho'Gath. Because the problem is with Tank Cho'Gath, the enemies mainly ignore you. They wipe out your team. And even when you land a Q or W on Tank Cho'Gath, it doesn't do any damage. So you're just kind of left with just your R and kind of your E. If you guys enjoyed this AP Cho'Gath video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.